I knew it. I knew it. Mandela Effect is still looming around the men's warehouse. You all know this guy. This is George Zimmer, the founder of Men's Warehouse. Do you see anything different about him? Anything? Didn't he used to sport a diamond in his beard back in the days? Not anymore. I remember him having a diamond in his beard. I always thought it was a cool look. It was different. I also remember asking myself, how do you get that diamond to stick in there like that? When the first Mandela effect about the men's warehouse name change, I went straight to old photos of George Zimmer to see if he lost the diamond because I was going to talk about it. At that time, he still had the diamond. For some reason, I just knew it was going to be gone. But to my surprise, he still had it. After seeing a commercial recently, something told me to check it out again. Now it's gone. I can't find any image of him with the diamond in his beard on the internet. The only thing close was this guy named Gerald Robbins of Robbins Diamonds who passed away in April of this year. I never heard of this guy, but he seems to be the only one with this look. This is crazy. Let me know if you remember George Zimmer ever having a diamond in his beard.